What's up, Raptors fans? Raptors HQ, Raptors HQ TV, here with Camball Ray, our fearless videographer Darren Bondi, who's stepping out in front of the camera because um, we want to talk a quick for a quick second about the upcoming draft lottery um, right around the corner, and uh, obviously the Raptors have the eighth best chance at getting the top pick. And I want to know from you guys, who do you actually think will get the top pick, and why? Or if you don't have reasons, it doesn't matter, but why? Okay. <laughs> My selection is New Jersey slash Brooklyn. It's a new team. It's a new day. It's a new stadium that's like a multi-billion dollar thing. Um, it only makes sense that the NBA, I think... Uh, so the fix is in, you're saying? I, I, I would think so. I think that the ball happens to magically fall into Stern's hand as the gigantic globe spins. <laughs> and Jay-Z and Prokop will say, hey, yes, we have Anthony Davis. It but it's is. also a way to keep Darren Williams on board too, right? Like, yes. I mean, theoretically, if they don't get a top pick, I think Darren Williams is out the door, and then what do you have at your new building? You got nothing. Gerald Wallace. <laughs> exactly. Wallace, yeah. And who doesn't like Wallace? <laughs> <laughs> as, your, as your cornerstone, your star player? Yeah, yeah pretty at, much. At, at his advanced young age. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So my pick, Brooklyn Zoo is going to get this. All right. All right, Dan, what, what do you say? Because saying? you took Brooklyn, I mean, I like Brooklyn. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, but I'll take, <laughs> I'll take uh, New Orleans. Uh, for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, they're a uh, bottom three team anyways. Two, they just got bought up from the NBA finally by the New Orleans Saints owner. They don't have a lot of star power, and it was just announced at the 2014, I believe, All-Star game yep. is going to be in New Orleans. So, you know, going into that All-Star game, if Eric Gordon is your really only star power, you know, okay, that's not really that exciting with an All-Star game. So you throw in an Anthony Davis with an Eric Gordon, all of a sudden you got an exciting young team. And, you know, something to build on, right? A little cap space and stuff like that. So I just think that if Brooklyn doesn't get, magically get it from wherever they are, what are they at in the standing They're one ahead of the Raps. So one ahead of the Raps. So that's sorry, a pretty big two jump. Ahead. Six. Two ahead? Six. 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 Still pretty big. Yeah. Well, that's a decent jump. New Orleans is closer to the uh, number one pick, so I wouldn't be shocked if they got it, and it just makes sense. It doesn't but look, the fix it is in, yeah, you're saying, It too. doesn't look as rigged okay. if New Orleans gets it, mainly because top picks don't usually get it, so... Yeah. That's, that's two. That's two, two for the two, fix. So that's two, two for the fix, guys. Two so for the fix. So basically, one way or another, both of you are saying that this process is, is, con is yeah. yeah is rigged. Okay. It's all about money. I'm gonna be the optimist, <laughs> and I'm gonna say that it's not rigged, and I'm gonna say that the Charlotte Bobcats are going to win it. Overdue for the team with the worst record to actually win the lottery. Obviously, Anthony Davis. Um, would be a huge get for them. In some ways, you can almost, I guess, argue that this too would be a lesser conspiracy because yeah. the Bobcats are, you have to argue, are on their last legs in many ways. Maybe not literally this year, but if you know at this current pace, it's hard to see them staying in Charlotte long term. Yeah. So getting an Anthony Davis would help. But I think it'll be, I'm saying legit, and, and the, the worst team in the NBA will actually get the top pick. Which doesn't happen very often. No, I well, don't even. I don't Dwight, know. Dwight, Dwight Howard, Howard, I think, I think and was then the LeBron last one. James before that. LeBron, LeBron maybe, yeah, right, maybe LeBron. LeBron. was one of the first. No, I think but, Dwight Howard was one, and then before so. that was LeBron. But LeBron could be argued as a fix, also. No, that, then that's just the argument. Well, yeah. I mean, you can go back historically. Derrick Rose in Chicago, they jumped what from the ninth to the first spot. Yeah, there, 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 uh, there are quite a few that <laughs> are. And last year, Kyrie, like, there's a lot that we talked about this yeah. before. If you actually sat down and went through the picks, you could make arguments about a fix on a lot of them. Even the Raptors pick, we talked about this. Colangelo's first year, international player was a potential number one pick, and the Raptors ended up getting the top pick. So, in, a, in a weak draft, so it wasn't draft. that big of a splash, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. really, like, there no one really cared. Who cares there, that it's rigged? There we go. Okay, so I've got the two conspiracy theorists beside <laughs> me. We've made our picks. We want to hear what you guys think in terms of who's going to get, who, who's the luck of the lottery, Who's what team is going to fall to come May 30th. So let us know, and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. We'll have lots more stuff coming, especially around draft time as we get into workouts and all that kind of stuff. Raptors HQ.